take some of the putty in your finger. You're going to take it in between your fingers and you're just going to kind of roll it so it's even. And then you're going to make just a circle out of that. Now you can do different sizes. I'm going to make mine a decent size. So about that big. I'm going to apply that to the area of the skin that you want to have the wound. Now this is a little tricky getting it to stick, but it is sticky so it will stick, just getting it to go down. You're going to take your liquid latex. I'm applying it inside of the nose putty. You can take anything. I'm taking a safety pin, just be careful. Um, so I'm going to take it and you're going to pick up pick a little piece of the latex and you're just going to kind of peel it back, but you don't want to peel it back all the way. This stuff is really stretchy, so you don't, you don't have to worry too much about ripping it, but you just want to lift it up just enough so and let it fall back down to give it texture. I'm going to take the black. Put it along the edges. We're gonna fill it in with a blood like color. I'm gonna take a darker kind of pink just to kind of um, give the idea of irritated skin. You don't wanna make it too bright, otherwise, it doesn't look very believable. So just kind of generously apply that. You can take different colors. Um, right now I'm taking like a yellow and kind of a purple and I'm just kind of going to apply that around and then I'm going to smear it to kind of look like a bruise and then we're going to fill it in with some fake stage blood. You can just fill it in a little bit and then Kind of move it around with your brush. Use gravity to get more of a realistic kind of drip. You can add a little bit more and then when you stand up it'll run down the side. So that's how to do a fake prosthetic bullet wound. <laughs>